Hi and welcome to robnovefoot.com and in this little video we're going to look at umbrella light flash strobe stands or brackets. Um, I've done quite a few videos recently about speed lights and flashes and different types of models from the Young Neuro range. Um, but one of the things you'll always learn about and read about and listen about on the various websites is about modifying the light because the output from a flash can be very hard and very very harsh it's a bit like um, being out in the noonday sun you know with the, with the strong sun coming down you always get very harsh shadows across people's faces um, and so you want to try and soften that light and a good way of softening light so that it kind of wraps around somebody's face or a subject um, so there's a lot less harsh shadows and it's a lot kinder to skin is to make the light bigger and so that's why you you know if you watch a professional photo shoot or you know a movie set the lights are massive or there'll be big soft boxes in front of the lights because by having a massive light source if you can imagine say I'm sitting here right and there's a flash kind of here and it goes off you're going to get big hard shadows across like my nose and things like that but imagine if it was a big light the lights coming in at all those angles to, to prevent those shadows so the, one of the cheapest ways of doing it, you know I'm always into cheap stuff, is with one of these. And this is an umbrella. Um, and it's a shoot through umbrella. So the idea is that the flash fires into this and that becomes like a big soft box. But how do you hold everything together? And these are the magic little things. These are little umbrella brackets that go on the top of light stands. And you can probably see on the top there's a little cold shoe which takes our flash like so that and then we've also got a um, a little hole in it right there that you can put the um, umbrella through so let's put that let's see if I can remember how to do it now don't do that. Slide that up. Put that through there. Tighten that up. Pull that. And I don't know if you can, if you can see that or not, but we've got flash firing into there. Now, the small percentage of you may have noticed the fact that. This is a YN462 flash that is actually not wireless, so <laughs> what it should really have is that on there, then that would slot into there. So there's our wireless flash trigger with our flash firing into our umbrella. That gives us a massive thing. But the problem you'll find when you buy one of these, let me just take this so is if we take that off as well so we can actually see what we're doing the problem is the problem is at this end now you look at that it's not like a tripod mount or anything is it and when you're like me you're used to you've got loads of tripods around you're like well wait a minute how does, how does that fix onto there it, it doesn't work and the answer is if you buy you can buy sort of proper light stands and proper light stands have a bracket on the top because light stands are basically very lightweight tripods type ideas <laughs> what you do is they have a bracket that goes up into it like that you do it up and that locks everything into place the problem with that is you know I'm like a skin photographer like probably many of you are you know but what I do have um, I can't afford to go out and buy lots of light stands is I do have lots of old tripods so I'm going to show you a little sort of hint you can use to use an old tripod really easy as a light stand so it means that once you've got your, your flashes and your trigger systems or maybe using your optical systems and you've got something like a shoot through umbrella and you've got one of these babies you can use one of these old tripods now let me show you what you do now, let's just fix this into place. So, here we go. So we've got the tripod. 
and there, there's different ways you could do it where, which would involve drilling holes in the truck and doing stuff but you don't need to all you need to do is take this bit undo the handle that controls the um, that the tilting on it we've got that out now on some truckers there might be a bolt that could fall at that end so hang on to that then what we do we simply take our um, umbrella bracket slide it over the top do it up sometimes a little bit of tape around this uh, chrome handle can help screw this back into here do it up so it's reasonably tight and adjust it so it's the right height slacken that off turn that round there Let's do it this way so now you can see we're on there and then most tripods can go pretty high I mean I've got this down so we can hear see it and then we can adjust the angle um, like that to how we want to get it but what we'll do now is let's put let's put our flash on there's our flash let's get our umbrella and that's just going to go there. You tend to, I'm just going to bring it closer so you can see it, but you tend to have the umbrella quite a way away. You don't have it sort of up like that, you have it like that. Oh. Just do that up like so. Let's bring it closer so you can see what's going on. And there we have a fully adjustable, really, really stable light stand on a tripod that you've probably already get got, so you're kind of saving yourself some money um, and not having to go out and buy another light stand. All you really need to buy is your shoot through umbrella and uh, your little um, umbrella holding flash bracket. Alright, so there we go. Hopefully I've managed to save you a few bucks by showing you that little technique. My name's Rob from RobMyPhoto.com and uh, thanks for watching.